Hi, my name is Philip. As you probably noticed, there is a lot of echo in this room. Um, you can have it here over the phone, you know, when people are calling. Sometimes they say, are you in a bathroom? Uh, which is, doesn't sound very professional, of course. There is a way to reduce this. One way is open a window or, for example, open a door. So I'm going to open the door, so I think we're not going to... This will reduce a bit the echo because part of the sound can go out of the room. Um, how are we going to fix this? It's quite simple. We're going to install sound absorbers panel on the walls. We have uh, two walls we can work here. We're going to install some panels on this wall here and also on the wall at my back. So there are enough space, enough room there to install four panels all together. So now the trick is to know how much panels do we need to install, what thickness. Um, so the way we do is we calculate the surface of the floor, let's say, or the, the ceiling, which is usually the same. And we try to install about 70% of the whole surface of the floor, let's say. So if the floor is 10 square meter, we try to install 7 square meter of sound absorbers. Already even 5 square meter, even 50% of the floor surface installed on the walls or ceiling will make already a big difference. But ideally it will be something around 70%. In some cases we have to install 100%, depends if you play music and etc. So here basically we need to reduce the sound for the voice, you know, reduce the reverber reverberation, uh, the sound which is the sound bouncing on all hard surfaces. There, uh, there are a lot of hard surfaces in this room, ceiling, walls, and the sound reverberate to each other. So the sound is made of waves, and what's happening is that when the waves are meeting, some are double, doubling and um, twice higher, so the sound double basically, so it's much, much louder. And the other half will be annihilated, will disappear completely, so you lose half of the information. So that's why in a restaurant, for example, you cannot hear properly each other. It's really, and you have to, to speak louder, which is exacerbate the whole thing. And um, it, it, it's getting really possible to, to enjoy, you know, sometimes the, the place. So the same problem happened in some office, in restaurant, and the solution is basically the same, is to install sun absorber. So here, um, by installing four panels, 1.2 meter by 2.4, will be close to around 90% of the, compared to the surface of the floor. So we're going to install a scaffold and do what's necessary to install those panels. We're going to simply glue them on the surface of the walls. Uh, that's the easiest way and the cheapest to, to work with. Um, we're going to use a uh, high density polyester. Um, you can use other type of sun absorbers, there are different types uh, on, on the market. Um, I prefer polyester because it lasts forever. Um, and then we're going to use 25 mil thick. We can use 50 mil thick or 35 different thickness. But 25 mil thick is enough for voices to absorb the range of frequencies um, for voice. If it was music, I will use at least 50 mil thick. So it depends if you have to reduce low frequencies a lot or medium high frequencies. So voices will be in the medium high frequencies and music will be more in the low frequencies. So for the low frequencies we use um, thicker, uh, much thicker sound absorber. So now we're going to show how to install it and then uh, the difference after hopefully is going to be very, very different things. You see, I'm just marking exactly where I have to, to put a spray glue on the panel. So what I did, I installed two panels on one wall, two panels on the other one. To be the most cost effective possible, I have four panels to install here. And to be the most cost effective, it's always better to install on a right angle instead of two parallel walls. 
to have more, more sun absorption if I do this wall and the wall behind my back here instead of doing two parallel walls, if possible. So I put two panels here, two panels at my back, and for aesthetical reason, I just try to just have the same gap, you know, on corners in the in the middle and here. So I try to yeah to have the, the same gap everywhere. And of course, with the laser, I did mark the level on the bottom, and I'm using the laser for vertical line as well. The blue stickers are just the corners of my panel, so I'm keeping a bit. Uh, a gap for the glue, so I don't put the glue right at the edge because I can spray over and it doesn't look good and hard to clean. So I, I spray just uh, I leave a gap, you know, uh, to the edge. But when I saw the panel, the sticker will be very handy because I've got a reference. I don't need the, don't need the laser anymore, and it will be much, much easier to install. This is the reference of my panel here, the blue sticker, and this line here are the reference for my glue. So it's a bit recessed compared to the panel. I'm using contact adhesive. I'm going to spray the whole part on uh, with this glue. And I will use the same glue on the back of the panel, and then we just position both together and stick the panel on the, on the wall. This is the, the sun absorber panel I'm using. It's made of polyester. I like this one because it's made of two different densities of, um, of polyester. So the, the main part is softer, still very dense, and uh, there is a skin uh, harder, but few, maybe three mil, three mil harder. The combination of both cover good range of frequencies because the lower frequencies will go through the skin hit the wall, come back, bounce back on the back of the skin again. So we've got a better absorption on lower frequencies. So it, it's a it's a good uh, good system, good combination. I'm going to put the contact adhesive on the back of the panel, and then it's ready to be just just installed. And it's quite simple. Good. Now the panel is fixed on the wall. I'm going to remove the, the tape here, all my reference for the panel. And the good thing is there is a protection film here that you can remove after the work, so you don't stain the don't stain the material. Easy. We've installed the four panels on the walls. Um, it works well, I think, and also it's aesthetically, you know, pleasant. It's, uh, that's an important point as well. It's to try to reduce the reverberation and also at the same time try to make something that looks good. Um, so yeah, I'm quite happy with the result. So if you want, you can call me anytime or send me a video. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Ah! <laughs>